Pivot tables can be a powerful tool for analyzing data found within relational tables in databases. Here is a pivot table that I created using our Digit Browser application, which is built on top of our Digits platform. This particular table, pivot table, is uh, for blocks and primary types of crime found from the uh, City of Chicago's crime data. So if you go to the City of Chicago's open data portal, they'll let you download all the crime reports for the last 22 years. So I did that uh, and created this table of 7.6 million rows. Um, they block, they X out the last two digits of the, the block address so that you get, uh, there's like 58,560 unique blocks within the city. And there are 36 different primary crimes, robbery, battery, assault, etc. So I simply created this quick uh, pivot table from that data. You can see on my machine it took a little over five seconds to generate this table. Um, your mileage may vary. I've got a pretty powerful uh, CPU, a, a Ryzen 5950X, so it, it went pretty quick, so your mileage may vary. So in this pivot table I've got 38 columns. So I have the 36 primary types. I've got a column for the block address and also a total column here. So this gives you the, num the number of crimes in for each block and, and along with the total. Now there are keys mapped to each one of these cells here. So if I want to see the 149 batteries that happened in this block, I simply double click that value and it'll show me all the rows in the table. It's 149 and I can then further analyze these, what kinds of locations that was an arrest made, what's what's happening uh, on that block. Uh, we can also filter on this. So for example, uh, let's say I only want to, to show the blocks that had a certain number of total crimes in here. So I'm going to say only crimes where more than a thousand crimes happened on that block over the last 22 years. So only 853 blocks within the city have that many crimes. I can sort any column by just double or clicking on the header, either ascendingly or descendingly. So here the most crimes occurred on O'Hare Street. This is, I think, the O'Hare Airport. There's 16,000 different crimes reported uh, at, at that block within the city. And I can analyze things. So let's say I wanted to find the blocks with the most batteries. So let's take our filter off. Let's go back to the, and we'll, we'll uh, sort by battery here. And let's take the top five or so. And we want to see any of them with, uh, with those items. So here's the 6,000 battery crimes that happened on the five most uh, common block for battery within the city. So I can now analyze and say, click on a, a column header like a location description. I want to see all the values. So we see that apartments were the, the most common place where batteries happened on those blocks with high battery counts. And then schools and airports and sidewalks. So can kind of analyze and see patterns. Uh, I can I can uh, do some charting so I can find the most burglaries um, and create a little, little chart. Uh, selected. This will give me a nice little bar chart or I can do a pie chart. So I can kind of uh, analyze the data. I can do a formula of selected add them all up. Let's see where the formula. This give me the sum, the average, the maximum, the minimum. So I can kind of analyze what's what's going on here. Now this pivot table uh, was created against the entire uh, crime data. But I could I can narrow it down. So let's, let's delete this prime ta pivot table and go back out to our our main 7.6 million row table. Let's say we 
only want to analyze data that happened within a restaurant. So I come over here to the location description, find the restaurant. I double click on that value. So we'll see of all the 7.6 million crimes that happened in the city, only 124,000 of them happened uh, within a restaurant. So let's go create another primary or a pivot table based off the block. On that get the pivot table. Takes a second to sort out all the keys for those 124,000 values. So there were only 7,000 unique blocks where the restaurant happened. Got rid of crime. We're going to pivot by primary type again. We're going to count the values. And only of the 36 crimes, only 31 unique crimes happen within a restaurant. So we'll create that table and here we are. So now here's a, here's a different pivot table that only includes blocks where crimes happened in a restaurant. It'll give me the total, um, I, again I can sort based off of the total. So here on the Zero block of the Chicago Avenue had 921 crimes happening within restaurants. So I can see them all. Here they are. I can analyze of, of those crimes how many was an arrest made. So it looks like roughly a third of the crimes reported had an arrest made at the time the report was filed, I guess. Um, we can find out, uh, you know, what kinds of uh, there's 16 different crimes. Theft was the most common one. And criminal trespass and battery. Weapons violation was, was only one. You know, so there's there's certain crimes that happen in restaurants that don't happen elsewhere in the city, and vice versa. So it allow you to kind of easily come in and analyze any kind of data. So this happens to be the Chicago crime data, but this could be sales data for your company. This could be, you know, web traffic data. You want to um, analyze uh, unique values and figure out where, where patterns are happening in your data. This is a great tool for, for helping you do that. Uh, there are other videos on our channel that show you how to create this table. I simply drag and drop the, the CSV file I downloaded off the internet onto this little definition and it in a couple of minutes, I got my 7.6 million row table. Double click on it to see everything. Got a little query here where I can just, uh, this will find all the crimes are in this little dictionary called violent crimes. So if I double click on that, you can see that of the 7.6, roughly half of them, 3.7 million were considered to be violent crimes. So out of the 36 crime, primary types, there's uh, uh, there's only 13, which I consider to be violent. Uh, this will quickly show you the row counts of those. So battery, criminal damage, assault, robbery, etc. So these are the ones that uh, were considered violent. I can do pivot tables just on violent crimes or across location descriptions. I can create pivot tables based on any two column values by year. So if I want to see you know, locate location description by year, I can create a pivot table on that. So we want to provide a tool to, to easily analyze large amounts of data uh, across all kinds of, of tables that you can have in a, in a database. Um, for more information, this, this uh, we're in beta right now. The, the browser's available for free download at www.digit com d i d g e t s dot com. So go sign up for our beta and try it out. Thank you very much.